Hello and welcome to Strategics Training Group. If you're watching this video, congratulations. You've been selected to participate in Strategics Heavy Vehicle Driver Training Course. This is a basic course advancing you from your current car license to an MR Synchromesh license or an HR Synchromesh license. As a trainee, you'll be expected to comply with our professional code of conduct. You'll be required to wear smart, casual, clean clothes with enclosed footwear, which means no thongs or sandals. Personal hygiene must also be of a high standard, so please use deodorant. The law states that you must have no trace of alcohol or drugs in your system 24 hours prior to operating a heavy vehicle. You are required to start each morning at 7.45, so check your directions and arrive on time. Please refrain from swearing or using any inappropriate language during the course. This DVD demonstration is a valuable resource for your future driving career, and as you watch it, you'll observe a number of techniques that will benefit you in obtaining your license. Also included are some basic terms and principles which you'll need to understand, such as gear changing, lift off, high range, and low range, to name a few. These techniques, terms, and principles will assist you in becoming a safe and professional driver. Any questions you may have will likely be addressed during the course. Your current license must have been held for a specified period within the last five years before applying for the next license class. This period may be a single continuous period or made up of a number of individual periods. To apply for an MR license, you must have held your C-Class license for at least one year. To apply for a HR license, you must have held your C-Class license for at least two years. Alternatively, to apply for a HR license, you must have held your LR or MR license for at least one year. All trainees will be required to pass the written component before the start of the course. To practice the test, go to Google and type in service.transport.qld or practice road rules test. Click on the link and then click on heavy vehicle test. You will have a random selection of 10 multiple choice questions you could be asked when applying for your license. Please do at least six practice tests you will notice that there are only a possible 19 different questions you could be asked. When you are confident you know all the questions, go down to your local customer service center and sit the test. This will cost approximately $20. You must get at least eight out of 10 questions correct. Before you are allowed to drive the heavy vehicles, you will be required to complete a 20 minute driving assessment in a manual vehicle with one of our driver trainers. The purpose of this is to determine your competence when driving a manual gearbox and how well you cover the following points. Movement, whether the car moves smoothly when you drive it forwards or backwards. Alertness, whether you are responding to what is happening around you and keeping control of your own safety as well as the safety of other road users. Mirrors, whether you can keep an eye on what's happening behind you as you drive. And signal, indicating your intention before you do it. Every vehicle is different, so this is a general overview of what to expect when you approach a heavy vehicle. To ensure the vehicle is safe to operate, a pre-operational check should be completed. To have a safe entry and exit to the vehicle, you must use three points of contact at all times. Once inside the cabin, adjust your seat for comfort and check your mirrors for alignment. Place your hands on the steering wheel at the 10 to 2 or quarter to 3 positions. As you look left to right and top to bottom, familiarise yourself with the layout of the gauges, switches and controls. Check that the park brake is applied 
and the gear lever is in the neutral position. You are now ready to secure your seatbelt and start the vehicle. The gearbox is a standard H pattern with two ranges, a low range and a high range. An ideal rev range to use when shifting gears is between 1000 and 1500 RPM. With the range selected down in the low position, you will be ready to select your low gears. After selecting the appropriate liftoff gear, find the friction point on your clutch. Check your mirrors, indicate your intentions, and when it is safe to do so, lift off. Gradually accelerate until you reach 1500 RPM. Engage the clutch and change to the next gear. Repeat the same process until you reach 4th gear position. In preparation to move into high range, pre-select the range selector button to the up position. This will not change the range of the vehicle until the gear lever has passed through the neutral position. Move the gear lever from 4th gear to 5th gear position. Once in a high range position, continue to increase your revs to 1500 RPM, select the next highest gear and continue the process until you have reached the right gear for the speed zone you are travelling in. You need to slow down to go down. When slowing your vehicle down, you need to remove your feet from both the clutch and accelerator. Brake as needed to slow your rev range down to 1000 RPM. At 1000 RPM, engage the clutch and shift to your next lowest gear. Then disengage the clutch. Repeat this process until you reach fifth gear. Once in fifth gear, Push the range selector into the down position to select low range. Engage clutch and move the gear lever from fifth to fourth gear. Continue this process until you have slowed to the desirable speed or stopped. When changing gears, only one foot must be operating at any one time. As a professional driver, you should never rev the engine while your foot is on the clutch. After coming to a complete stop, apply the park brake and select neutral position via the gear lever. Turn off all lights and signals. Before turning the vehicle off, allow it to cool down by idling the engine. Then turn off the vehicle as per manufacturer's specifications. Remove the keys and secure the vehicle. Remember that when exiting the vehicle, always use three points of contact. You are then free to carry out your post-vehicle inspection. Be safe. Be seen.